Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain generation of single phase AC by elementary generator. So let us see first what the AC elementary generator is. Elementary alternator or we can say that elementary generator is an AC generator having a single turn rectangular coil. So it is a rectangle, it is a generator which is having only a single turn in the coil. The coil is rotated in the magnetic field provided by north and south poles of the magnet. So the example uh, will look like this. This is an AC generator, uh, AC alternator. We can say that it is uh, just having a magnet which is having north pole and south pole. We know that the magnetic lines of forces uh, are generated in north pole and it ends in the south pole. You can see here that it is having a single rectangular coil. That's why it is an elementary alternator. Okay. And it is rotated in the magnetic field. And you can see here that the voltage is generated here by the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. The detail of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and everything about the uh, electromagnetism are explained in my previous video. You can see the link in the description. Now, this diagram can be redrawn just like this. So, it is a north pole, it is a south pole and this rectangular coil. You can see this rectangular coil here and it is rotated in the magnetic field and uh, it will generate the energy. Now, the energy is uh, collected across this resistance. Okay, now these are this ring. You can see here this is ring and this is another ring and it is rotating with, with the coil. This is known as a slip ring and they are connected to the coil. Similarly, you can see this B1 and B2, these two are the carbon brushes which are connected here because this uh, load or we can say that this resistance cannot be rotated with the uh, with this coil and that's why here it is connected with the help of this brushes. Now this slip ring will uh, rotate and brush will make the contact with the load as well as with the generator and this is the diagram of elementary generator. You can draw it. Now let us see the working of the elementary generator. This is our element elementary generator. We will see it's working by its position. Now let us consider that this is our point A and this is our point B. Now, if we consider this is at position 1. Now, this is our position 1 and this is our A and this is B. If it is not moving or it if it is at the position uh, this as shown in the figure, you can see that uh, this A as well as D are in parallel with the magnetic lines of forces. Here it is generated in the north pole and it is ending to the south pole and we can see you, you can see here that this point actually is in parallel with this means the angle between this coil and this lines of forces is zero and if we can say that it is theta equal to zero and if it is not cutting any lines of forces as per the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction if it is not cutting any lines of forces or if it is not uh, uh, passing the magnetic flux the flux will not change and if it is not changed the EMF induced will be zero so in this case EMF induced will be zero also in in case of a dynamic uh, induction it is uh, here the coil is moving and that's why it is the, it is an example of dynamic induction and therefore in case of dynamic induction mathematical equation is given by E is equals to B L B sin theta whereas sin angle 0 is nothing but 0. We know that sin 0 is 0. It means that P will be equal to 0. Therefore in case of position 1 that is in parallel with the coil if magnetic lines are in parallel with the coil then EMF induced equal to 0 and therefore I can write here E is equals to 0. Now let us take the example of position. This is our position number 1 and if it is moved 
just like this if we have rotated this coil in anti clockwise direction and if it is moved to position number 2 just you can see in the diagram so if here theta is equals to 90 degree means from this position it is cutting the lines of forces these are, these are the lines of forces existing over here and if it is this if if it is cutting this lines of forces definitely it will cut the maximum lines of forces that is these lines of forces will be cut by a and these lines of forces will be cut by the b and therefore in this case maximum induction will be there and the direction of emf can be given by fleming's right hand rule the scope of this video is not Uh, related with the fleming's right hand rule but you can see here that the direction of the emf induced can be given here this cross sign is indicating the current is going away from the viewer so it is going in this direction whereas this dot is indicating that the current is having this direction so in case in this case theta is equals to 90 degree and we know that sin 90 equals to 1 and therefore emf induced will be given by e is equals to dlv which will be the maximum induction here now let's move to position number 3 this is our position number 2 and if we rotate the coil to 180 degree from the first position from the position 1 if we move it to position number 3 definitely it is from 0 to 180 degree that is here previously a was there and b was here and therefore it is now rotated completely in the uh, 180 uh, degree so in this case in this case the again again magnetic lines of forces and the conductor is having angle here they are parallel with each other and here theta is equals to 180 degree we know that sin theta Sin 180 degree. Sin 180 degree is again zero, and therefore EMF induced will be again zero in this case. So we have moved from maximum position to zero means we have just here the voltage will be decreased. This is our position number three. Now this is position number three, and if we move to position number four, just like this, here you can see that it is moving to 270 degree here, and in this case. again it will cut the maximum lines of forces and therefore in this case we can say that it will be maximum but in the opposite direction in opposite direction the emf induced will be maximum because as per our this as per our uh, formula it is equals to dlv sin theta is there and therefore in case of sin 270 degree that is uh, Minus one, and therefore EMF induced will be maximum with negative sign. That is minus B L V will be the EMF induced. Now again consider that from position number four to position number one, if it is moving, then it will be settled at this position where A will be there here and D will be here. And therefore in this case again further at position one you will get the zero EMF. That is actually it can be expressed here this is our position number 1 for the conductor at position number 2 it is maximum so the sine wave will be like this okay at position 1 it was zero from position 1 to 2 it is maximum from position 2 to 2 to position number 3 it will be just like this okay again in anti clockwise it is moved in anti clockwise direction so the direction will be exactly opposite and therefore in in case at 180 degree it is zero again i have already explained it because sin 180 is also zero now in case of position number 3 to position number 4 it will just look like this sin wave now here you can see position number 3 to position number 4 the sin wave will look like this and from position number 4 to position number 1 again that is if our, again we rotated in anti clockwise direction the wave will be completed and it will look like this so uh, this is 
the working of an elementary generator in case of a simple ac generator instead of using a single coil multiple number of coils are used and further the quantity of ac will become high in this tutorial i have explained the working of elementary generator that is the generation of ac waveform friends for better understanding you can watch complete playlist the link is in description as you can see here that lots of videos are there and i regularly update the playlist if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe it keep watching thank you